Hello and welcome to Fest to Life. My name is Frank and today the topic is the SIS power station. With me together a support from yeah from the company, Volker Kaup. Hello. And uh, what is your job in the Festo company, Volker? <laughs> Hello everybody. M my name is Volker Kaup. Um, my job in the Festo company is that I'm a product manager and I'm also the product manager for the SIS power station. Super cool because I need you for some questions about the SIS power station mm. and uh, I know that a lot of people uh, saw the SIS power station on yeah, YouTube and uh, other social medias and they ask us some questions. And you like a product manager responsible also for the SIS power station. Uh, what does it mean so product management, mm. product manager for, for, for a tool like that one? So uh, as a product manager, Frank, um, you involved in the project from the very beginning okay. to the market entry and further. So now we are at the stage of the market entry. Okay. So uh, I am involved with the SIS power stations for years now. So cool. Really helpful, I think, though. So before we go deeper to your questions, what you sent us uh, to, the, to the headquarters, uh, I we have prepared also something, uh, uh, videos, so uh, mm. applications. But um, before we have a close look on that, we want to give the um, people who stayed the first time here to see it the first time, this is power station, a little bit uh, input. What is this is power station? What is what is the, the benefit from this SIS power station? So uh, for the ones who heard it, who hear it the first time, mm -hmm. so the SIS power station, we say, say it's, a, it's a mobile po a power socket. Okay. So mm -hmm. we have uh, battery cells inside, um, and here on the front there's a socket, mm -hmm. and there you get 230 volts uh, AC. Power, so you can. And, and this is exactly the point. AC power. AC power, yes. <laughs> this is really helpful because when I hear AC power, that means I can use all these tools with a with a with a corded tools with a cable. Exactly. The power station is built uh, as a portable power supply. Mm -hmm. uh, you can carry it to the to the to the place where you need the power, and you can plug in every nearly every tool uh, you like to plug in. Can you give me some some figures, some numbers about uh, this power station? So, what is the permanent power? So, the main data is permanent power mm -hmm. is one of it. It's three thousand six hundred and eighty watts. That oh. means it's s exactly the same power you are used to have on the power socket in the wall. You're used to n uh, have. So <laughs> that, is, that is really helpful. Yeah. And. Much more, so capacity, this is also always a question. So also to the power back, mm -hmm. uh, 3,600 watts uh, uh, permanent power. Mm -hmm. We also have peak powers. Mm -hmm. So peak power okay. for a short uh, period of time, half a second, we have 7,000 watts. Mm -hmm. And for really short, for half a second, we, can, uh, y uh, we, we get up to 11,000 watts from the SIS power station. And that is, I think, really helpful when you work with really heavy duty machines like the HK132, for example, or other yeah. tools from the competitors, of course. Exactly. Uh, a machine like this uh, needs higher power when you start running it than it takes later. So mm -hmm. with that, you can start nearly every machine you know. So 3,680 watt permanent power, 11,000 watt peak, and the capacity, the what hour? How much is inside? The capaci capacity, uh, so the tank volume, right. as you like, uh, it's 1,555 uh, watt hours. Yeah. Enough. That's that's <laughs> that's much work. power. Um, and I like this. It's all in a small sustainer, with yeah. uh, you told me 16 kilo. It's yeah, it's uh, 16 and a half kilo, Perfect. and you can carry it easily. Okay, so now you have a little bit of overview about this SIS power station, what does it mean and what, what benefit is the pow SIS power station. But let us look, because before we look on the videos, we have some uh, experience about um, yeah, end customer. They mm. use this SIS power station now. And what is the message from them to us when they use it the first time? Do you have some experience about it? 
Uh, yes, we have some feedback from the market. We we started <laughs> communicating about this product uh, half a year ago, okay. so there's y much feedback from the market. We get feedback from end customers yeah. and from test customers, and most of them they are really really <laughs> excited about this is power station cool. for for many of them it's a game changer okay. and the test customers uh, they won't give it back to us so <laughs> that's a good sign <laughs> it's uh, a good for sign the market absolutely so let us look on the job side let us look in the video how the end customer represents that and uh, let us look in the video so you see here this power station. There's a renovation with bathrooms. Switch on the this power station, 230 volt. Folko told us that. And now let us uh, look which kind of tool he works. So it is a dust extractor, uh, a competitor, of course. And here, the red one, the red big one. And uh, the question is, can you use, can we work with that big one and the this power station? And works really easy in combination with the dust extractor and you see here the LED lights no issue dust extractor works perfectly in combination so he used now with two tools and that is I think a really really nice thing when you have here on that yeah job site maybe no really power because when I really remember they told me they have uh, a lot of water uh, issues, so there is a, a, a pipe broken and they have water inside, so no electricity. And what I like here, and I can stop the uh, video for a short, uh, short time, he can really change the position from one point to the other point, or other room, with whole uh, power capacity. And this is really flexible, really mobile, to another place, so he don't need a cable row, uh, extension table, cable, sorry, he had everything on place and he can start directly also <laughs> with the red machine for this hard, heavy duty work for uh, remove these park and maybe this glued on it so that he can start later with bigger machine. But the first step is always to do that with uh, that way. So a really nice samples with our uh, end customer. And Volker, what, 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 what do you say about that the movie, that video? Mm. I think this is a typical situation, isn't it? That's, that's a typical situation on construction sites. I, uh, the movie shows uh, perfectly two benefits of the power station. The one benefit is that the guy uses heavy corded machine, heavy powerful corded machines. Right. <laughs> uh, and in a way that he is used to use them as a cordless machine. So. <laughs> this is this is one really good benefit, really important benefit. See, we can e use it. Yeah. The second benefit is uh, the the situation on the construction side. You showed it. He's carrying the energy with him, so it's it's power to go. Really convenient. <laughs> and for him, it's one hundred percent planning security. Yeah. That means every time he needs the power, he he carries it with him. So, and you know the situations when you come to a construction site. Uh, where is the power located at? Uh, is it in a cellar? Is yeah. it outside yeah. somewhere? Yeah. You and don't have to. And also the fuses sometimes. Uh, yeah. You have not the right fuses, old uh, buildings. Yeah. Uh, you cannot work with old tools at the same time. Yes. And, and, and so nice solution about that. Uh, let us talk now a little bit about um, how long I can work with the uh, Swiss power station. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe in the next video, what I'm showing you now, we can see a little bit the in the application how you can work with that. Okay. So a uh, totally other uh, situation. We are here now on the boat repairing and the guy, he works with the uh, system also from the competitors. And you see here with the sander, uh, dust extractor, this power station, a really nice work. And I stopped here for a short time the video and you see here completely yeah separately a compact system no cables around the workplaces and you can work a long long time and I remember when we do that test or when we when we when we uh, visit him that he works more or less more hour just a moment I do uh, again so that the whole um, yeah 
repairing situation are, are finished when when, uh, when when we do that, and the charging time from the uh, sys power station was absolutely enough. And I think this is also a really nice thing. What does it mean uh, work with uh, sys power station? No? Absolutely, Frank. Uh, wha what we have seen here uh, is a sending process. Uh, some of you will ask, how long can I send in this in this combination? Yeah. So we saw a dust extractor and a sender. And sender, ETSEC 150. Yes, yeah. those together, I think about 1,000 watts mm -hmm. is the, the requ required uh, uh, performance. Yeah. So 1,500 watt hours lasts here in this application for one and a half hours. So <laughs> if you ask for reach, the reach depends on the application you do. So if we do cutting work, so yeah. the, the application uh, takes a couple of seconds. Right. Uh, if you do other works, I so it depends on the application you do. And uh, I remember when we cut these materials here, you, you know, yeah. with the, with the uh, circle saw, with the HK55, uh, these are more or less 3,000 cuts with yes. one charged sys power yeah. station. This is the this is, uh, example I like the <laughs> most. Uh, <laughs> imagine 3,000 cross cuts, two by four, with one tool. 3,000. And really even w when you send uh, one and a half hours sending with a dust extractor net time, this is not so, not so, uh, it's much, <laughs> much, much work really to much. do. And what I like also is when you use the sys power station together with a dust extractor, mm. you are also m mobile in your work position because mm. for this application, this is, this was now a small boat, mm. uh, but sometimes you have bigger sizes of boat mm. and then you have to change this position and and that time you don't need cable extension, you don't need cable drums, and 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 I think this is also really helpful. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, there's nothing to add <laughs> to, <laughs> to this description. So. Okay. So now we saw the renovation of bathroom. We saw now boat um, um, renovation. But now, uh, Volker, I have a question about these uh, special electronic. Um, tools mm. and uh, when I say uh, special electronic tools then I think not always a fast tool or on these uh, heavy duty tools I think mm. about these computers mm. or these TV screens you mm. know is that also possible that I can use this power station with that sensible uh, tools or sensible uh, mm. yeah, uh, systems yes uh, you can run even sensitive uh, systems, we have uh, a very, very high quality power coming out of this socket. What does it mean exactly, high quality power? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a pure sine wave. That means uh, you can run even computer systems or monitors or everything with a big electronic inside. So uh, they are normally sensitive okay. to, to, uh, to uh, um, yeah, generators and something like that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, if they don't have a net filter, we have a pure sine wave and a, cool. and a very, very good uh, quality of en uh, energy. That remember me on the European Championship for soccer, and you know, <laughs> with that power station soccer is important. And, and a <laughs> big screen, you have a really good outdoor feeling mm. <laughs> together. Mm. But let us look now at the next video, because uh, we have here also a nice application, and I want to show you now. So this is our colleague from the Shaper, uh, company and uh, he works now with our system this means with uh, this power station and uh, the target is to uh, mount these kind of solar panels in this in this uh, terra stacks and uh, he used also the origin and i think uh, most of you know the origin a really uh, sensitive uh, tool with cnc technology inside and uh, the question was also works that system that's CNC origin with our uh, yeah this power station and you see here the completely uh, system is running and that is also a yellow switch and we come a little bit later on that uh, here he start with that and it works in a really convenient way so we have dust extractor he had uh, these this uh, power hub so with a lot of sockets and you see he follow this line and uh, the system works in a really nice way. And uh, what 
I like is he's really mobile and she is absolutely free, so uh, s he can work with that system in all position. And now the camera comes up to this position and I will stop now the movie, the video in a short time because when you look here on that screen then you see this yellow yeah, plug system and uh, sometimes people ask us for what we need this plug and Volker, now maybe you can help me a little bit and can tell us for what we need this yellow I don't know the English name, sorry. I say in German always uh, Personenschutzschalter, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't understand it really. PRCD. PRCD, that's the name <laughs> of it, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we have in our scope of delivery of the power station also this device. So this is called okay. the PRCD. Mm -hmm. And in English it's the personal, uh, the, the um, sorry, I have to start. Um, the portable residual current device. Wow. Nicht personal, <laughs> portable. Yeah, okay. For P. <laughs> so residual current, current device, we get many, many questions about this device and we have to go step by step okay. further. So I start with uh, the functionality of it. So what does this device do? We use the time now. Yeah. It's really important. And uh, what does this device? It detects residual currents. So how does it do that? Um, there's an output current mm -hmm. uh, uh, from, from, from the socket yes. going to the tool mm -hmm. and there's coming back an input current. All right. And this device yeah, compares the output versus the input and yeah, w it, it, has to be it has to have the same value. So uh, if, if, uh, I if the output current isn't the same like the input current, then it switches the cycle off. So Super. So it's protecting. So then, yeah, th th the this is the way it works. Yeah. So the second thing is, uh, how do I use it? Mm -hmm. So you can see here on the picture, you can't see it, I can see it. Okay, uh, we again. go with this uh, position. Uh, so the PRCD is not plugged into the power station, no. it's plugged in the multiple socket at right. this point. So then we come uh, exactly to the point why should I use it? So, for my understanding, s for uh, a short um, uh, comment from my side. So, I see here we have one cable goes directly to the um, shaper, yep. and one cable in that sample goes to the dust extractor because he used the dust extractor not automatically. Mm -hmm. He used it with the room remove yep. uh, function. So, why we use now for the second tool? Mm this PRCD. So when you use a tool in combination with this is power station and there's a, a single fault at the tool, maybe a, a, f a broken cable or something like that, mm -hmm. um, then it's not dangerous for you as an, when you, uh, as an applicant mm -hmm. because the power station is not earth. Mm -hmm. That means from the fault there's no current flowing me through the earth because mm -hmm. there's no earthing. Right. So the PRCD comes into the game uh, when I use a second or a third tool. Okay. So every further device I use with a power station uh, should be protected additionally by a PRCD. Mm -hmm. So when there are two faults, uh, one at the one tool and one fault at the second tool, and I come in touch with both faults, yeah, then it's dangerous, then it can be dangerous for can me be dangerous, as a user. But then? Then one so cycle will be switched off super. and the other one will run further. Top. So so I'm safe as, an, as really a user. Really nice. Mm. Uh, question, uh, one of these devices is in our delivery content, isn't it? It is, yes. And And why only one? Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> that's also a question. I have never seen something <laughs> like that. Why do you? So uh, we as Festool, we have to see uh, our ask end customer in his whole si in his whole uh, whole system, and we provide um, dust extractors, 
our hub. We yeah. provide uh, net tools uh, re which require dust extraction, and it's very, very likely that our uh, customers use the power station together with two tools, and they want we want to have them safe from the start. So Super. a combination dust extractor and a saw or a router or uh, a sender, mm -hmm. uh, you can start immediately safe in a safe way with the power station. Independent that I use more than one, uh, more than two tools. So mm. I need one or two uh, PRCD more. Is there something what I have to uh, yeah, look when I buy this PRCD? Because I know yeah. there, had there are some difference between PRCD and PRCDS. Yes. It's, it's the different. Yeah, that's an important keyword, okay. uh, Frank, you tell. Um, there are also devices called PRCDS uh, uh, on construction sites. So these devices, they detect earthing. So they okay. look, has this socket earthing or not? And if not, it switches this cycle off. Uh, together with a power station, without earthing, it wouldn't run. Yeah. So if yeah. you buy a second or a third PRCD, look at uh, <laughs> at the naming you you need a personal residual current device and not on PRCDS. okay thank you very much so let us look further through this uh, nice video from the colleagues from uh, shaper and you see here the system works perfectly sustainers fits together t log sustainer classic sustainer and sustainer generation three and also i think it's really nice the dust extractor fits together and the results you can see here uh, Andy, clean up this uh, first, um, yeah, the first round when he worked with the uh, origin, and now comes to the second round. I think he did that in two times. Yes, yes, and uh, everything nice, clean it up, and this helps you, of course, when you stay uh, outside. You don't have to look for a power socket because you have all things with you, and you can start immediately with your work. Perfect. Uh, Volker, that's one point. So we see we can work with computers, we can work with uh, uh, corded tools, we can work with um, boat renovation mm. and so on. But I think some of the people ask us also about really yeah, heavy power mm. uh, work and that goes in the, in the wave welding. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is nothing with Festool, we, we, we have no tools for, for welding, but uh, this is really interesting also for our dealers uh, and end customers, if it's possible to use the SUS power station with these kind of welding systems. And here we have also prepared a small video, enjoy it. Okay, now we can start. That is a small mistake. I want to look here again. So now it works. Welding. Uh, you see here we are really lucky because we have uh, here close to Wendling and the company Rehm Welding Technology and here the head of uh, application Jan Rittmann was so friendly to make tests with me and with the SIS power station together. And uh, the first test was with the yeah, uh, standard, I say standard welding systems, uh, the small one, and it looks really fine. And you see here, no issue uh, to use these kind of um, welding system. Sorry, what is the name uh, for that? Um the rod, <laughs> right, thank you. So you see, it is no issue, this goes now a little bit uh, faster because we have here uh, a faster camera uh, mounted, but it's absolutely no issue. We use then later a little bit a bigger one, and uh, Jan looks always to the LED lights, and he was surprised that it works. This is now a little bit a bigger one, and also with that one, and uh, a, a bigger rod, you see it here, works also in a really good way. But then we changed and uh, we use this flame welding. And you see here, for example, stainless steel or aluminium, you can also use it with our SIS power station. And uh, this was also really surprising for, for me personally and also for, for, for Jan. 
uh, that that works in a really really good professional way. Here the the classic version, so with with gas, um, also no issue for steel. And uh, when we have a closer look later to these uh, LED lights, uh, what you can see here in the back, it's absolutely no issue, and we are really happy to see that. And of this presentation, we tested to cut uh, metal. So this uh, sheet, this uh, two millimeter metal sheet, and this was also possible. And you see here, no issue <laughs> about the LED lights. And uh, this was really a fantastic uh, three hours, what we test uh, at the company REM Welding Technology. So thank you for, for that, that we have uh, enough possibility to test it with REM Technology. And this was a really nice experience for us. So mm -hmm. Volker, um, yeah, these high power, mm -hmm. uh, but what does it mean in, in, in mm -hmm. reality? So when I don't have power in my area, in my, in my um, the job site, and I want to do a really welding work, what, the, what does it mean? Do, do you have mm. some uh, answer for that? <laughs> so uh, w welding is not the classical field of fest tool. So <laughs> this is something we learned uh, uh, now step by step. Uh, so the video is amazing uh, in my in my eyes. So what you can see here is uh, application which requires really high currents, mm -hmm. um, not currents, a really high uh, performance, performance for a really short time. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do something like that, uh, with a mobile power supply, uh, with a power generator. Power generator. Uh, yeah. yeah, we had to look uh, what kind of power generator can uh, can uh, can make this happen. Mm -hmm. uh, we learned that uh, it's from 5.5 kilo uh, k kilowatts upwards. Upwards. So and these are huge and heavy power generators. <laughs> so 60, 70 kilos. And you have to carry them with two people and so <laughs> on. So, uh, and here on the other hand, we see this is power station, 16 and a half kilo. You can carry it alone, and you can do the same job. Also, from my point of view, it's it's amazing. So cool, super. Uh, yeah, it's the we saw a lot of things. Now it's time a little bit for a uh, small talk, and for that, <laughs> I. Uh, produced a little bit of uh, popcorn and this is also a funny thing for your understanding we uh, have here a popcorn machine and with our Swiss power station we <laughs> use that also and it works in a really really nice way Oopsala. so here a little bit popcorn for you cordless popcorn uh, cordless, pop -corn. cordless <laughs> thank popcorn you very much machine. i like it <laughs> funny thing you can also use things not with tools alone also yeah mm like that one. Give me one. Yeah, please. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Volker. Um, Swiss Power Station. Nice tool. What is the really unique thing and why should I buy that? Yeah. Um, uh, you told it. It's it's a completely uh, new tool for us, a new kind of tool. Mm -hmm. So and also for for our customers. So it's a new product class uh, we open up here with the Sys Power Station, and uh, the unique thing of the Sys Power Station is the technology inside. Okay. And what I mean is the way uh, the DC power uh, is converted to AC power. Um, mm -hmm. If you compare this to a conventional uh, uh, power uh, uh, source, um, yeah, you. Normally, this uh, this uh, takes place by an inverter. So you and have an inverter is much much bigger. You have a part, an inverter inside, mm -hmm. which uh, makes uh, AC power from the cell DC power. So here we have an inverter-free technology. So Th this is this know-how. <laughs> this is this is know-how. This is high tech. This okay. is a completely new solu solution on the market. But and what does it mean when we work with a converter? I prepared something. <laughs> so what is the benefit? Oh, I like this, this popcorn. I <laughs> what like is the benefit <laughs> to work not with a converter? Mm. So what does it bring us a new technology? So imagine a Swiss power station with a converter inside, mm -hmm. like the traditional way. Mm, yeah. Um, it would be it would have the double size okay. and the double weight. So it 
it's not so attractive no comment. <laughs> like the product we have <laughs> here. So Absolutely. Um, that's, that's, uh, that's the main benefit. Now I understand uh, why <laughs> we have now this really innovative uh, system here. But uh, of course, Volker, at the end of the day, I have to pay that. And um, the price is always a, a question. So do you can say or told us more about price? We w you know, we pay uh, two and a half, three thousand mm -hmm. uh, euro for that uh, tool. Um, why should I buy that? The price is is it's yeah, yeah. Is sportive, yeah. <laughs> I would say. But uh, mm -hmm. it's it's a lot of high tech inside. Mm -hmm. But that won't be enough if you uh, come to the conclusion to buy it or not. That's you have point. you have to have a reason. And the reason must be uh, time saving or cost saving on the end of the day. So imagine if you take every day 10 minutes by laying cables. Oh yeah. So and then you can calculate up. 10, 20 minutes. Yeah. Or you, you can start working, you are in the middle of the construction site. You and have that only one people have to wait. Sometimes you have more people. You have no energy. <laughs> yeah. Right. You have to wait yeah. Yeah, half a day or something. Y you can calculate. And if you have a reason to buy it, you will, you will buy it. That's, that's what we learn from our customers. Other question is, of course, I can plan my situation because I go to a company and uh, uh, rent a, 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 a generator, for example. Yeah. Is that convenient? Is that, is that okay? So it's a solution, but yeah. it depends. <laughs> yeah. Diesel generators, they are the most ineffective way to produce energy. That's, that's a fact. So yeah. And we calculated it. And there are many other benefits from the power station in opposite to a diesel generator. But uh, the calculation alone, the running costs, um, um, there the the yeah, there we have a, a, an advantage on the side of the mm -hmm. power station because the diesel generator, you have to imagine, he's located somewhere outside yeah. and it is running the whole day. Right. So and this is pretty ineffective. So and I here I can carry the en energy with me and I use it when I have to use it, uh, when I want to use it. And what I like is you switch it on and off, that's yeah. more or less. It <laughs> doesn't stink, <laughs> you yeah. have no okay. sound, and so on. So many, many arguments uh, against really diesel generators. Really helpful. And you told us this is more or less a game changer <laughs> in the future. That's what we hear from our customers. <laughs> for many, <laughs> for many, it's a game changer. Okay. Yeah. Let us look a little bit talk about also the um, charging time, also the 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 lifetime circle. Yep. Uh, I think these two things we have to talk together. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about it? So uh, it's an uh, important uh, um, point uh, to this is power station. So charging time, we say the charging ta time is three hours, but then uh, depending on the on the temperature of mm -hmm. the cells, mm -hmm. what does that mean? Uh, we have an, a process inside which is called smart charging. Mm -hmm. And smart charging balances uh, between uh, fast charging fast as possible on one side, on the other side, uh, side to protect the cells. Uh, fr for longer service life. For longer yeah. service life. So, mm -hmm. so it's a balance. Mm -hmm. And um, three hours means it takes three hours to charge this power station when the cells are at ambient temperature. Like here, 20, 20. 25 degrees. Right. It takes three hours from mm -hmm. zero to 100. Mm -hmm. so. When the system is warm or warmer, warmer. Yeah, um, the charging uh, will slow down a bit. Mm -hmm. So to protect the cells. Okay. So to well longer service life. improve <laughs> the lifetime. <laughs> right. When we come to several temperature borders, uh, the SIS power station won't charge at all. So mm -hmm. we do everything to protect the cell inside. Mm -hmm. So it comes, uh, we come to charging uh, time from three hours and in sometimes upwards uh, to six, seven hours. It depends. It on depends. So but uh, I think important for you to know is uh, this is more or less the same battery system mm. when you look on the cells, like your cordless tools. Yes. Uh, so we have here the same technology, and you know when you uh, use cordless tools that you have protected a little bit about temperature, and so have you also a long service life. And you know our tools from Fest Tool, especially the cordless tools with the specially cells high 
power cells inside are really, really, uh, yeah, good quality with a long uh, service life. Okay, so last uh, but Frank, Frank yeah. one okay. question to that. Sorry? So <laughs> we, we heard, so that was a bit fast. Uh, to service life, um, you heard that during the charging proce process, mm -hmm. the, the system protects itself. Yeah. We have the same situation when the uh, power station is, is running. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. these both stages, the system totally protects itself. Um, the big question now is how can I improve uh, the, the lifetime of this power station? Um, and then we come to hot days like today, 35 degrees. So on these days, you shouldn't uh, store this power station inside your car because the battery cells inside they don't like extreme temperatures. Also so minus 20. Minus <laughs> 20 is bad in winter. Don't leave it in the car overnight. In the summertime, put it out of the car. So these are the extreme temperature temperatures. You, you can work in that temperature, but for storage yeah. and also for charging, you have to do that in areas where the temperature are not so extremely. Isn't it right? That's it, yeah. Cool. Okay, I hope we think, oh I hope we have now everything uh, mm. uh, talked about that. And uh, yeah, last but not least, I think when you work with a Swiss power station, the big benefit is, and you told it also, you switch it on, switch it off. Mm. You have enough power for all these tools. Yes. Wherever, whenever you want, mm. and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple tool. You have one switch. <laughs> And then you can use it. That's all. Okay. So thank you, Volker, for your uh, yeah, support here with this, this power station together. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.